My own brothers died tragically as well, truth be told. It was 1868, and me and my older brothers were pulling a tidy profit running cattle into Juarez, Mexico. One night after my brothers retired for the evening, I found a little poker game in a cantina with a couple of cowboys. And I just couldn't lose. I even won an old Spanish coin that had to be a hundred years old. Well... I was mighty pleased with myself the next morning as my brothers and I rode for Texas. But before we crossed the border, those cowboys caught up with us. It was Johnny Ringo, Roscoe Bob Bryant, and another asshole named Jim. They wanted their money back and everything else we had, including our lives, as those boys didn't want us coming for them later. Bob put that old Spanish coin in my mouth and said, I won't have it said that I left you with nothing, boy. Well, those horses bolted, and there we hung as those bastards rode away. The branch finally snapped under the weight of the three of us, but being my older brothers were bigger and heavier, they were already dead. And right then, I swore to myself that I would avenge them. Ringo, you know about. But Bob eluded me until I heard he was riding with the Wild Bunch. I'd been on their trail for months, ever since they left their hideout in the Bighorn Mountains. Led by Butch Cassidy, they were a loose association of outlaws who robbed banks and trains from Colorado to Montana. Among them was the Sundance Kid and that murderous hombre I was tracking. Roscoe Bob Bryant. Were you a part of that giant Pinkerton posse after the Wild Bunch? No, boy. A circus like that would have slowed me down. Besides, I wanted Bryant all to myself. I'd heard about a large shipment of gold being transported to Wilcox, Wyoming on the Overland Flyer. They blew the bridge with the intention of forcing the train to stop. Well, I assumed the Wild Bunch was likely in the still intact part of the tr So I had no choice but to make my way up through the passenger cars dangling. I was determined to make that some bitch Bob pay for what he did to my brothers. ringing from blowing up that bridge. What'd you say? I can't hear a goddamn thing. Well, I made my way off unscathed Who's and came upon a few members of the gang and had no choice Pinkerton. but to dispatch them. From there, I had to negotiate an even more precarious route. But first, I would need to get my ass out of there. jumped from the frying pan into the fire as the train was clearly fixed to fall. I found the gang, but in order to find old Bob, I needed to fight my way forward past a whole passel of desperados. Outside, inside, any way I could, I made my way towards my prey. Well, what about the passengers? It was mostly a freight train, as I recall. There were no passengers aboard that day. As I mentioned before, I am not fond of heights. 
but I was too busy dodging bullets to worry about falling to my death. Odds were I was likely to die that day anyway, so I was determined to take down as many of those bastards as I could. It was like shooting ducks in a shooting gallery. The only difference is these damn ducks shot back. I kept hoping the law would show up and give me a hand. You mean like that giant Pinkerton posse that I read about? Did they come riding in, guns a blazing to help? Help? From the Pinkertons? <laughs> no, son. I had to fight the wild bunch all by my lonesome. As usual. Who the hell is that? didn't portray this as it happened, did they? Only a few stragglers were left, and I had to cut them down pronto if I was gonna stay on old Bob's trail. Once I silenced all those guns, I went searching for my nemesis, determined to finally have my justice. But the only survivor who welcomed me was George Flatnose Curry. Who was he? On that very same day, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid decided to leave the Wild Bunch behind and decamp for South America. I tried to find Bob Bryant, but it was as if he'd disappeared. Sometime later, I heard the Wild Bunch was back together. Kid Curry escaped from jail, and now he was running the whole shebang. So I took to their trail as I was still in pursuit of my brother's killer and hoped that he was back with him. That kid Curry's kinda crazy, ain't he? Don't let him hear you saying that. Anyways, I tracked those boys to a camp right outside Parachute, Colorado. Someone's 
Started taking those bastards down. Somebody really pissed this so bitch off. <laughs> Old Bob wasn't among them, and neither was Kid Curry. I could sense them close by, however, plotting something nasty. I just needed a clue as to their whereabouts. A map with their bold plan clearly marked. This time they were fixing to blow up a train trestle. Property of the Union Pacific. The plan clearly indicated how they were fixing to undermine several of the weakest wooden supports. Kid Curry was considered the wildest of the wild bunch. It was said that he fathered 85 bastard children. Though some say it was only... <clears throat> the bridge was rigged with dynamite. So I decided I'd best be careful confronting those bastards. And I made it a point to remove any dynamite that I came across. A moment later, I saw a ladder that somehow had escaped Don't my you attention. Up now. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. did not take kindly to my presence and attempted to blow my head off. It appeared the kid had found a number of new recruits to bolster their ranks. Guess there's always desperate men willing to trade their lives for stolen treasure. What happened next? Well, having removed the first bundle of dynamite, I decided I might as well remove the other one. Once that was done, I figured I'd find my way from there. to remove more of that damn dynamite. It must have been terrifying trying to make your way across. I was sweating it a bit, but then I noticed a footbridge tied up on high, so I shot the rope. All the dynamite? It's funny you should mention that, darling. As actually there was a fourth charge impeding my progress. 
Once I removed it, my path was pretty clear. So I proceeded onward, and realized that that way just wasn't gonna work. I needed an alternate path forward. <clears throat> Luckily, I found a cave, and as I made my way back to the bridge, I saw something that concerned me. It was a long, burning fuse, and it was moving fast as hell. I had to catch it. <clears throat> the burning fuse was so damn quick, I had to run like the wind. I almost had it, but no! I thought I was gonna have a coronary when I lost sight of those sparks. My heart was pounding like a sledgehammer. I knew that failure meant boom! Then, finally, at the last moment, Whew. Of course, I was successful, or clearly I wouldn't be talking to you folks. But by this time, I was thoroughly exhausted and dragging my ass, as I was not a young man anymore. Kill that as Just when I thought things couldn't get worse, Kid Curry opened up on me with a goddamn gallon gun. It was hidden in this tunnel and pretty well shielded. <laughs> Kid Curry himself. He had decided to stop pushing putting around and deal with me personally. I 
fast as he was. I was just a bit faster. And as he lay wounded, I demanded to know the whereabouts of Roscoe Bob Bryant. He shouted at me. Is that what this is about? Bob went with Butch's Sundance to South America. You ain't never finding him. Those were his last words. <laughs>